Welcome to Smart Engineering Academy. I am going to present lecture on analysis of determinate structure. In that let us see module 1 that is introduction and analysis of plane trusses. In the first topic of the module 1 is structural forms. In that structural forms there are three types of structural forms that is skeletal structures, surface structures and solid structures. That's the skeletal structures. Skeletal, skeletal structures are nothing but structures which can be represented. Structures which can be represented in a series of straight or curved lines are nothing but skeletal structures. Example for skeletal structures are roof struts and building frames. For analysis purpose, we take these members as lines, 2D elements. A series of lines connected to form a truss. These are the lines connected. This is nothing but a truss. This is the lines connected. This is nothing but a frame. For the analysis purpose, these members will be considered as a lines. So this series of lines is nothing but a skeletal structures. The example for these skeletal structures are roof struts and building frames. Next one is surface structures. The surface structures are nothing but which represents a plane or a curved surface. Plane Plane. plane surface is nothing but these are nothing but the plane surfaces which is having very less thickness compared to other dimensions these are nothing but planes or shells okay. this is also a plane structure this slab is considered as a plane or cell structure this is also a plane one this is the curved surface this is also a curved surface these are the examples of surface structures and third one is solid structures this uh, this represents neither a skeletal or a plane or a curved surface except these surface structures and these uh, skeletal structures these are called solid structures example for these solid structures are statues and idols Okay, next coming to the conditions of equilibrium what is equilibrium when n number of forces are acting on a body the net resultant of these forces becomes zero the net resultant the net resultant of the forces becomes zero let us take a body when a n number of forces are acting on this body the summation of all these n forces n number of forces must be equal to 0 that is f1 plus f2 when we sum up all these forces <coughs> the summation of all these forces must be 0 then only a body is said to be in equilibrium ok let us say uh, let us take this example suppose uh, two children are playing seesaw the uh, weight of uh, one children is w1 and another one is w2 a seesaw must be in equilibrium if it is if it has to be in equilibrium weight w1 plus w2 must be equal to fp that is reaction developed then only a seesaw will be in horizontal position and it will be in equilibrium then the moment this will be in anti-clockwise direction this is in clockwise direction these two gets cancelled and this will be remained in the same position that will be equilibrium okay next coming to the conditions of equilibrium there are three conditions of equilibrium uh, equilibrium that is summation of all the forces acting in horizontal direction should be equal to horizontal direction should be equal to zero that is let us consider a body i apply a force in one direction this body tends to move in this direction but I apply another force in opposite direction. A body will will be in equilibrium. These two gets forces gets cancelled, and again the body will be in equilibrium. Again, the second condition of equilibrium is the summation of all the forces acting in vertical direction should be equal to zero. That is, 
this is the body i apply vertical force it tends to move in this this direction i apply another force in opposite direction these two gets cancelled again the body will be in equilibrium and this is summation of h equals to 0 and this is summation of vertical forces equal to 0 and summation of all the moments let us take a okay third uh, conditions of equilibrium thir third condition of equilibrium is summation of all the moments and rotations must be zero summation of moments or rotations must be equal to zero okay next one is let us take a beam the moments uh, moments acting on the beam say this is clockwise so this is anti-clockwise then these two gets cancelled again a beam should be in equilibrium without moving in any direction or any rotations it, it will be in the same position as before applying the moment or the force so this beam will be in equilibrium these are the three conditions of equilibrium that is sum summation of h equals to zero summation of v equals to 0 and summation of moment equals to 0 and next one next uh, topic is degrees of freedom the number uh, what is degrees of freedom the number of displacements or rotations the number of the number of displacement or rotations allowed at the joint of a structure is called degrees of freedom say uh, i am standing here i have multiple degrees of freedom i can move in this direction i can move in this direction i, I can move in this direction i have n number of n number of degrees of freedom so let us come to the structure let us see what is the degree of freedom for this roller support it can move roller is kept here right so it can move in this direction so degree of freedom will be 1 for this roller support let us see oh, uh, it can it can also rotate in this direction so this is another degree of freedom okay, coming to the pin jointed support so it can it can't move in this direction it can't move in, the, in this direction it can only rotate so the degree of freedom will be one so we are coming to the fixed support it can't move in horizontal direction it can't move in vertical direction it can't rotate so the degree of freedom will be zero for this fixed support so degree of freedom is nothing but displacements displacements or rotations allowed at the joint of a structure is degree of freedom displacement this is displacement this is rotations allowed at a joint is nothing but a degree of freedom let us see next topic is degree of static and degree of static independence or degree of redundancy it can be called as a degree of static determinacy or degree of redundancy what is the degree of static determinacy the number of equations required over and above the equations of static equilibrium for the analysis of the structure additional in static determinacy is nothing but the additional number of additional additional number of equations required required to solve the unknowns in the unknowns in the structure this is nothing but the degree of static determinacy or degree of redundancy the number of equations required the number of equations required over and above the equations of static equilibrium for the analysis of the structure the number of equations required 
went over and above the static equations of static equilibrium how many static uh, equations of static equilibrium are there there are three equations of static equilibrium we have so we have three equations of static equilibrium we have to check how many extra equations we required in uh, leaving these three static equilibrium conditions we need to check how many extra um, extra uh, that is additional number of uh, equations required to solve a structure okay uh, what is uh, degree of static determinacy consists uh, will some is some of is some of is sum of external indeterminacy and internal static determinacy so when it is called when when, when a, a structure is called determinate if the total number of the unknown equation uh, unknown unknown unknowns are nothing but forces forces or reactions is equal to the total number of equilibrium equations there are three number of equilibrium equilibrium equations if the unknown forces say for suppose this is the beam this is simply supported and this is roller one so reactions developed is here to here one there are three unknown forces Three, we have three minus. We have three degrees of uh, three number of equilibrium equations. So three minus three will be equals to zero. This structure is determinate. Okay. Suppose we have this is the beam. This is simply supported. This is the simply supported. We have two reactions here. We have two reactions here. So two unknowns here. Two unknowns. There are four unknowns. Four minus three. One, one. So this structure is indeterminate by the degree of one. So this is an example for indeterminate structures. So if the total number of unknowns is more, if the total number of unknowns is more than the equilibrium conditions, then the structure is said to be indeterminate. If the total number of unknowns is equal to equilibrium equations then the structure is said to be determinate when we can say uh, structure is unstable if the total number of unknowns is less than the total number of equilibrium equations then the structure is said to be unstable okay if the total number of unknowns if, if the total number of unknowns is 2 and the, uh, we have total number of equilibrium equations 3 then it will be minus one static indeterminacy of the structure is minus one so these these kind of structures will be unstable okay uh, next what is external indeterminacy if the what is external indeterminacy is nothing but number of external reactions in excess of equilibrium number of external reactions external reactions in excess of equilibrium okay if the external reactions is more than the equilibrium equations then it is called as a external indeterminacy how we can find out the external indeterminacy this is nothing but forces unknown forces this is equilibrium equations and r is nothing but additional equations available we we use r whenever a inch is given unless otherwise inch is given we can't use this r okay what is external indeterminacy is number of external reactions in excess of equilibrium is nothing but external indeterminacy we can find out by using this f minus e minus r
F is nothing but number of unknown forces or reactions. E is nothing but equilibrium equations that is 3. Or is any additional equations available? We can get the additional equation whenever hinge is given in the structure. We can calculate the additional equations uh, that is equal to n minus 1. n is nothing but number of members connected to the hinge. Let us see in the example problems how we can apply this R. Internal indeterminacy. What is internal indeterminacy? It is the number of internal reactions in excess of equilibrium. Internal reactions. These are nothing but internal reactions. We can, by uh, While solving the problems, we, we will get to know how to determine the external and inde uh, internal indeterminacy okay if internal reactions is excess of e that is nothing but internal indeterminacy we can determine the internal indeterminacy by using this m into number of closed loops for 2d structures m will be 3 for 3d structures m will be 6 so let us see for beams how to get the static indeterminacy we can get the for beams we can get the static indeterminacy by using this equation d equals to f minus e f is nothing but unknown reactions or unknown forces what is the f the here for roller support there will be one unknown reaction and for this simply supported or hinge there will be two unknown reaction this is one two three for this one there are two unknown reactions for this one one unknown reaction total unknown reactions is three and the number of equilibrium conditions we have is 3 so f minus 3 will be our static indeterminacy that is 0 0 static indeterminacy by 0 the structure is statically mm, static indeterminacy of 0 the structure has 0 static indeterminacy so uh, for this structure let us see what is the static indeterminacy so there will be two unknown reactions here there will be one unknown reaction here there will be one unknown reaction here so totally two one one so two plus one plus one four unknown reactions we have three equilibrium equations so four minus three equals to one so statically the static indeterminacy of this structure is one so uh, let us see for a fixed support there will be three there will be three unknown reactions here moment will be also taken as a one of the force totally three we have one so three plus one will be equals to four we have three equilibrium equations four minus three equals to one so degree of indeterminacy is one for this structure this is we have three unknowns here we have another three unknowns here so totally three plus three there are six unknowns and we have three equilibrium equations six minus three will be equals to three degree of indeterminacy for this structure is three let us see for this structure there are two unknowns here here there are two unknowns here there are two unknowns so totally two 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 plus two plus two there are six unknowns three equilibrium equations six minus three equals three so in the next class let us see examples of uh, static indeterminacy for for frames trusses and let us discuss some more topics thank you